Did you do any cross-country skiing in Quebec's Laurentian region this winter? Perhaps you know people that did? It's an unbelievably popular activity north of Montreal. In fact, it's considered one of the birthplaces of cross-country skiing in North America. In the skiing community, the Laurentians is considered world-class. And while thousands flock to the area every year to adventure around the mountains, it wasn't always this way. We may think of cross-country skiing in the Laurentians as a sport as old as time, but it's actually a fairly recent development. And many say the popularization of the sport is all thanks to one man, an absolute legend they called Herman Jackrabbit Smith Johansson. The Laurentians were a remote and hilly farmland north of Montreal, with some trails and old farm roads, before Jackrabbit Johansson, in collaboration with the many inn owners in the area, single-handedly transformed the landscape, both figuratively and literally, by connecting existing trails and creating a concrete network we know now as the Maple Leaf Trail. I wanted to find out who this Jackrabbit person was and if his dream for the Laurentians is still alive. I thought it would be a good idea to teach people how to ski. Who was Jack Rabbit Johansson in one sentence? Jack Rabbit Johansson was the man who made skiing popular here in the Laurentians. Jack Rabbit Johansson was known as the father of cross country skiing in Canada. He introduced the sport here in the early 1900s. Johansson was an engineer by trade, but his first love was skiing. He learned the sport at the age of two, and for the rest of his life, he preached the gospel of cross-country skiing. He died on January 5th, 1987, at the astounding age of 111 years old. Today I wanted to put my money where my mouth is and I wanted to go out and sort of do the things that Jack Rabbit would do and learn about him from a standpoint of actually sort of walking in his shoes or skiing in his boots, as one might say. Today was, today was a really interesting day. It started bright and early. Um, we made our way to the Musée du Ski in saint Sauveur. We met up with a, a man named James Jackson. The big thing that he did, uh, he was a well-known skier, but uh, he came here and he connected all the different little networks uh, and the inns in the Laurentians. And he did this uh, promoting it through the Canadian Pacific Railroad as well. The pilgrimage to this mecca of skiing is made from all parts of America. And they come by train, by plane, by bus, and by private car. Jack Rabbit is perhaps best known for blazing the Maple Leaf Trail. It was an astounding 128 kilometer trail system that connected La Belle to what was formerly known as Shaw Bridge, now known as Prévost. Jack Rabbit worked with his son Bob to set up the trail system, which was, in effect, some existing trails that Johansson successfully connected in the region. And this is it. This is the Maple Leaf Trail exactly. right here yeah. where we're standing. Yeah. The, these are the current uh, marker of the Maple Leaf Trail, and this is the, the one uh, that we created. It, it, it is based on the original one, uh, original marker from uh, Jack Rabbit when he built the uh, uh, Maple Leaf Ski Trail between 1929 and 1932. The construction of Highway 15 near Montreal posed a bit of an issue to Jack Rabbit and the work he had done. Essentially, the construction of this highway broke up a lot of what Jack Rabbit Johansson had designed. So while it was incredibly convenient for most Quebecers, it did take its toll no pun intended, on the previous groundbreaking work done by Mr. Johansson. Highway 15, is this a miracle or a catastrophe? Catastrophe for the trains, <laughs> uh, a miracle for the average skier. As soon as the automobile came, well then all of a sudden you had the freedom to go when you wanted to, and you didn't have to stay overnight. You could drive up in the day and go back, which most people do today. It 
it's more than a dream. It became for us a heritage, a, a really important part of, in French, we would say our patrimoine. And so heritage and also kind of the identity of the Laurentian. So here we are on the Petit Train du Nord, which is of course significant with Jackrabbit Johansson because this is how he would used to bring people up on the on the train. He had a free pass with a CP rail and he would bring people up and take them up and down these beautiful trails and then they would head home on the train at the end of the day or stay at one of the beautiful inns here in the Laurentians. We have the re remain of the chairlift foundation here. And so this was the top? Uh, this was one of the tops. Yeah. There was a little ski hill here. There was one over there and two the other side of the, the lake. But it, So they just put little chairlifts everywhere. Exactly. Because when it started, the chairlift were first start here in the Laurentian in 1934. It, it was a rope tow in Saint uh, in Shawbridge. Yeah. And then here around Foster's Folly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think people realize this, but I, I, I think you and I spoke about this, how the rope tow was initially a manner to bring people up, you know, up to, to the top of the hill so they could continue. Yeah. Not to go up, down, up, down, up, down. So the alpine skiing, as we know, it sort of occurs accidentally. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Um, kind of an offshoot. Yeah. yeah. So. From what I gather, Jack Rabbit Johansson would not have been encouraging people to simply go up, down, up, down. He would have preferred people to go up and then sort of earn their turn. Is that yeah. an expression? Yeah, well, that's a good, good term. Uh, you know, up, down, and across. <laughs> Jack Rabbit's way of putting it. Yeah. I think one of the nicest things today about meeting with James Jackson and Danielle Bergeron was that they truly embodied the spirit of Jackrabbit Johansson. That's not something we expected today. Jackrabbit was so passionate about turning people on to cross-country skiing, and that's exactly what James and Danielle did for us. They were so hospitable. Uh, they truly took us out into the world of cross-country skiing, and it was a true blast to experience it um, through the lens of, of such pros. C'est quoi le défi maintenant? Euh, pour nous, c'est de protéger cet héritage-là et de léguer euh, euh, l'état des Laurentides euh, à nos petits-enfants qui respectent encore cet esprit de délégation. So, the challenge is to get everybody on the same page and sit down with local politicians and try to keep the Laurentians from becoming a suburb and kind of keeping it cottage country the way it is right now. Je reste ici seul, je fais mon bois, je fais le ménage, je fais mes repas et je suis très contente. Je suis bien reconnaissant que j'ai la, 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 la santé pour faire tout ça. Mais il faut de ski tout le jour.